The National Democratic Congress, during its youth manifesto launch, announced a no academic fee policy for entry level or first year students. Ghana Web decided to tour various universities across Accra to find out from the students what they think about this policy. Join us as we speak to some of the students. Free education came and we thought it would help Ghana. But see now teachers are also complaining we are not paying them, school feeding and all that. So my mom is on to people not giving money in as at coming to level 100. It's going to cause a problem because many students come to university and everyone wants to come to university and before you go to any level it's level 100 so that means you are going to be many then when you get to level 200 you guys won't be many because many people won't have the money to also afford that so i think level 100 no fees for paying for level 100 or whatever is going to cause a problem with that and lectures are going to complain that because um okay they are not paying so we're also not going to teach them so the students are also going to complain that um, they are not paying, teachers are not taking good care of them and all that. And there's nothing we are going to do, we can do about it. We are just going to be just be complaining, complaining day in and day out that teachers are not teaching. But still, there's nothing going to be happening. Because the teachers too have also psyched their mind up. Since they are not paying us, what should we do properly for these students? That's how it's going to be here. Yeah. Well, my opinion on this initiative is that Actually, I do not have a solid um, stance whether it's a good one or a bad one because for me, how, how, how good this initiative would be depends on how effective it's going to be. Because looking at the free SHS, for instance, it started all good, but now we can all see the negative effects of it. And so um, I think that for political parties to come into power, they make promises they don't really have the capacity to fulfill just to get the populace to vote for them and so this is initiative being a good one or a bad one depends on how effective it is going to be i think that if he's able to um, implement the policy it will help those who can't afford the fees the university fees yes but with the state of the economy now i think he won't be able to do it because they are already having challenges with the free SHS. And even with a change of, in case there's a change of governance, the whole process of the free SHS policy, whether he's going to maintain it or continue, he will have challenges already. So I think if the, gov if the government is able to, to do their things right, and implement the policy for first year, free first year uh, university academy fees to be paid. And I think it will be it will be good. I think it's a very good initiative. It would give other students who are less fortunate the opportunity to start in university. And considering free SHS, it has benefited a lot. So something like this would also benefit a lot to other students and then we would also release, relieve the pressure on parents with the payment of fees but I think going forward there should be other initiatives to help support these students after the first year in level 100. The question remains what's next? So I think there should be other initiatives to help support these students going forward. Personally I think it wouldn't help because um, already the country is in debt. Yeah. Um, not to train shades, but I think the free SHS that was done some years ago, it really brought the country's economy down. So doing this one too, Charlie, it's not good. It's not good. Because the country is really in debt. Like, <laughs> the loan is too much. The loan is too much. So me, I think it's a bad idea. You should take off something else. Okay, so I feel like already now, the government is already taking portion of the university fees. And already now, the SHS is already free. And the kind of economy right now, no? right now you can't be uh, instituting policies that you are not sure. Like, when you say it's a kind of new house, so can I, like, am I, like, no, I feel like it, it doesn't, it's, it's a waste of a 
resources because already now the university fees if we are regular student are my for be that so you're not paying the full tuition so i feel like it's okay and shs is shs is free and making first year free now just say the rest of the years you cannot pay like it doesn't make sense I think it's a good policy because it will help the parent financially and also if the student do well in academics I think he can seek a help of the student financial aid to assist him only if he's serious and he's ready to boost his GPA. The policy itself is a very nice policy but it will bring constraints on the school and the students as a whole. For a fact that the school has few hostels which are already crowded and a lot of students are off campus which makes them stranded for class at 7 30 and sometimes exams so if that is done there will be a lot of uh, pressure on the hostels around which will lead to the increase of the already inflated prices students are divided over the no academic fee policy for first year level 100 students what do you also think? Share your comments with us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe, share and like our videos. For Ghana Web TV, Mandiajiman reporting.